It's the Archimedes screw. The Archimedes screw allows people to draw water uphill, and this is over 2,000 years ago. It's incredible. In ancient times, agriculture, industry, and the growth of towns and cities all depended on controlling the flow of water. It was crucial. Great efforts were taken to divert rivers, build dams and canals, and to lift water from one level to another. So when Archimedes invented a way of making water flow uphill, it was truly transforming. The Archimedes screw was a tube with a helicoid or screw in the center. When hand cranked or turned by some sort of wind power, this draws water up from the bottom through the screw and out through the other side. This was a revolutionary invention. For the ancients, water flowing uphill was a wonder to behold. It seemed to go against all the laws of nature. But this was no party trick. This simple invention had huge implications. And because of its simplicity, it could be applied to many different uses. The Archimedes screw is an incredible innovation. It's been used on everything from irrigation to bilge pumps on ships. Bilge pumps are used to pump water out of the hold of a ship. They're crucial for long voyages. Christopher Columbus couldn't have sailed the Atlantic if his ships hadn't been fitted with bilge pumps. And there's even evidence that the Archimedes screw was used on board the biggest ship of ancient Greece, the Syracusia. It was the world's first cruise ship. It was the most luxurious passenger ship that had ever been built. It was filled with paintings and statues, bronze bathtubs, even irrigated flower beds. And who was it designed by? Of course, Archimedes. And it might well have been kept afloat by an Archimedes screw. It's possible that Archimedes invented his famous screw as a fundamental solution to pumping water out of the Syracusia. It's amazing that this mega ship could have been powered by one man using the bilge pump to keep this boat afloat. With bilge pumps, ships could travel further and the ancient world expanded. Archimedes screws were also used in ancient mines to draw water to the surface to stop the mines from flooding. There's an example here, the ancient Roman mine at Rio Tinto in the south of Spain. Here they built incredible underground water wheels to lift flood water from one level to another. And at the top, in the last part of the process, they used an Archimedes screw to get the water to the surface. We still use the Archimedes screw today. As well as being used to move water uphill, it's also used in the hydroelectric industry, where the design is reversed. Water flows downwards through the screw, turning it and generating electricity. And there's a royal twist to the story. This is Windsor Castle in England. It's one of the main residences of the Queen of England, and most of the power of the castle comes from here the River Thames, thanks to these inverted Archimedes screws. And it's been used on a much, much larger scale too. A great deal of the Netherlands was previously below sea level and therefore flooded. How did Holland reclaim all that land from the sea? They used the Archimedes screw. This thing built a country. And on a much, much smaller scale, no pulse, no problem. The Archimedes screw or screw pump is used today in modern medicine to maintain steady blood flow in patients with a